Hey. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you again, sweetie. Hmm? What's wrong? Guy got your tongue? Oh, <laughs> you like how I decided to look today? Well, get a closer look, sweetie. I like it when you look at me. <laughs> you look so flustered. If I had known you liked me in a trench coat, fishnets, and a leather corset, booty shorts, and my long boots, I totally would have worn it a lot more, just for you. True, I have to keep reminding myself that you didn't know I was into you for so long, but now that you do, I can steal you for myself. <laughs> yes, steal. I practically have already. Oh, I don't think so. I know so, mister. In fact, I'll prove it to you. Come here. <laughs> Aw, I was expecting you to hold me. How could you not know where to touch me? I'm literally dwarfing a good bit of your body weight. Hmm. <sighs> It's good to know you're not so mischievous or perverted. Those things you can leave to me. Don't worry, sweetie. You can hold me just about anywhere. Except for my chest, of course. The top of your head is also to the bottom of my chest. Just wrap your arms around me. Your embrace feels so nice. I love how small you are compared to me. <laughs> Absolutely, sweetie. You can ask me anything. Certainly. Sweetie, I really do want this. I don't want you to worry about anything. I may be a little bit older than you, taller than you, and may pack more meat on my body than you, but you're the one I've chosen. Once I make a decision, it's almost impossible to change my mind. I just want my good boy to be loyal to me, which you already are. <laughs> well, there's no rule saying a woman can't do a man's job. That includes taking care of a person I want to be with. That is you. <laughs> Relax, sweetie. You don't have to be embarrassed. Do you still want to go to the fountain park? <laughs> Say no more. I don't mind walking there. Let's go. Hmm, <sighs> It's so pretty. What made you want to come here? It's good to know you're able to find sanctuary from the nonsense that the world can throw at you. Work is your safe zone too? I would imagine that's exactly what people try to avoid when they're stressed out. <sighs> I didn't think you were that passionate about being a bartender. But based on how I've seen you work, I should have known you liked it. You even cook too? <sighs> You're just a bundle of goodness, aren't you? Um, I want to sit down. Can I use your lap? I know, I, I know I'm bigger in every way. I just really want to try. Just sit right here and I'll... Are you okay, sweetie? I hope I'm not crushing your legs. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Hey, I want to take a selfie. Is that alright? Well, of course. I want to look at you as I use my phone. Alright then. Smile, sweetie. One, two, three. Oh, look at us. I'm making this my wallpaper. There, I sent it to you too. I'm so happy you like it too. You, um, I hope you haven't been feeling like I forced you into this. Because of how sudden it was telling you that I wanted you. Are you sure? <sighs> Thank goodness. 
The reason for me asking isn't personal. I just haven't met many who feel the same way about it. I'll explain. Technically, I'm pansexual and even polyamorous. To be honest, I wanted you because I've been close to you compared to others I've spoken to. I stand by what I said. You're adorable, you're very sweet, smart, patient, and you're even strong. It takes a lot of will and patience to run a business, and you lost your parents a while back. Grief like that isn't always easy to overcome. <laughs> Even your mom was gothic? Who would have thought? Was she older than your father? Hmm. I don't know why I was expecting a bigger difference. Hmm? What about you? Sweetie, I have to say it. I think you're perfect. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're perfect for me to be your mommy. <gasps> you really want me to be your mommy? And your girlfriend? You know what? Come here. <sighs> I know you said you wanted to be here today, but can we go to my place? Okay, let's head back to your place. I left my car there. Here we are. What do you think? I'm glad you like it, sweetie. Come here, I'll show you my room. This is where I sleep, my own little dungeon. Well, yeah. I'm still a goth girl at heart, sweetie. Have been my whole life. I can't tell you how long I've waited for you to come into my life. Now, now I'm happy. I'm your mommy, your girlfriend, and, well, I'm just over the moon. <laughs> Never had this happen before? No? Well, today's the day. <laughs> I love you. Do you love me? <laughs>